Hey, how's it going and welcome along. I'm Rory from Rate My Funeral. That was Rate, by the way. And this is yet another tech review and another lighting product. So what do we have here today? This is the BenQ Screen Bar Halo. A while back I did actually review the BenQ Screen Bar Plus. Now here we go, that's the box. And this is a very premium looking product. It's got a nice box and really liked that. It was a really smart bit of kit. The Halo, I imagine is quite similar, but obviously a newer version. It's boasting having like a clever backlight functionality, wireless control, asymmetrical light design, sort of better compatibility with different monitors, a really accurate color calibration. It's all adjustable. And most of all, what it does is it basically changes the ambient light in your room. So the idea is you have this above your monitor. When you're working in front of your screen all day or all night or whatever, this kind of adjusts the uh, the temperature of the light around you to make it kind of a little bit easier on your eyes. And I have to admit, I was quite skeptical when I received that first light, but honestly, it worked really, really well. So I'm really interested to see if this is going to be any better. So first thing we need to do is get it open and have a look. All right, so first impressions of the actual box that it comes in. You should be able to see this here. We've got, it's kind of like a nice shiny gray. It's got a little flap that's held down by this sticker so that we know that no one's tampered with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And again, just to give you an idea, this is what it looks like inside. You might see a bit better there, you may not, I don't know. In the box, we have one <laughs> In the box, we have one wireless controller. We've got a box, we've got some batteries, we've got a clip, and we've got the light unit itself. Okay, so we can now get rid of the box. This is the light unit, so Let's just see if we can slide some of this plastic off. So it comes with this little adapter. If you have a curved monitor, then that's what you can use. If you don't, you can use it just as it is. So the actual unit itself, it's got this kind of weight that's on a hinge on the back. So that will sit over your monitor and hold it in place. Fairly decently length USB cable. The bar itself is adjustable. Sort of you can just adjust the angle and so on. Well, I've got a monitor here. Let's just see just quickly. There we go, that's how easily it sits on there. Boom, done. <laughs> very, very simple. Give me a second and I'll set it up on over here. Now obviously, typically, you are gonna have one monitor, maybe two. Now I go a little bit too far, so I've got four, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it over the top of this one and see how it looks. So, to install, you place, like so. That's it, it's in place. It looks quite smart, it sort of fits over the monitor, it doesn't look out of place. The unit itself feels like decent quality, a bit like a premium product. And if I plug that in like so, we should see what happens. Here I have the wireless button. This sits on the desk. It's nice, to be fair, again, feels kind of premium. It's got a really nice solid metal feel to it. I'm just gonna go ahead and press the button and it doesn't do anything. But obviously we need to put some batteries in it. Now fortunately it comes with the batteries, so we'll just pop these in. And then once you have your batteries in place, you just simply place the cover back on the bottom and it just kind of clicks into place and holds itself there. It's pretty good. So we have a little light that has come on on the front there. So I'm gonna tap that and boom, we have a light here. And the one thing I don't know is because this light is on, it might be kind of hard to see. So I'll just switch that off again. I'll switch this one off first and let's try that again now. Okay, so we now have a subtle light. It's just lighting everything nicely. I'll place this down because this has got a rotating wheel. So I'll try and show you. Do you see the, the dots on there? Basically the dots light up to show you how bright you currently have the light. So the more dots, the brighter. This looks pretty cool. It's all touch sensitive. So you've got a, a button for favorites. You've got a button for timed. You've got a button for automatic there. So if you turn that on, it will detect the ambient light of the room and adjust it to make it just right. So that way it takes the strain off your eyes. And then if you want to turn it off, you just touch the middle button there and turn it off like so. If you've got it in auto mode, as soon as you turn the, the wheel, it will switch off auto mode and go to the brightness that you want. So if you find that the light is going a bit crazy and flashing like mad, you might find that you're not quite putting enough power to it. So here I have it plugged into a USB extension and there's clearly just not enough juice. If I change this onto a normal USB port that's in the PC, suddenly it's fine again 
and I'm able to control it as normal. So some of the settings on here, it's all pretty simple. You turn it on and off just by touching the center. You rotate the wheel to control the brightness. You can touch the bottom to choose different lighting modes. And one thing you'll notice is this is the backlight mode. So there's no light actually coming out the front. It's all shining at the back, which is making the monitor glow up. So if you've got your monitor up against the wall, this looks really cool. Touch it again to go through the modes and change it back to a combination of backlight and front light. Just basically make it set up how you want. Finally, you have the temperature option, which allows you to change between a kind of warmer atmosphere or a colder atmosphere by rotating the knob. And then finally, you have here auto, which it looks at the, the light in the room and it calibrates it to how it thinks it should be to keep your eyes kind of as comfortable as they can be. To kind of wake this up, you just simply wave your hand over the top of it and then the lights will come on. So here you can see it's not awake, I wave over the top, suddenly it's now awake. It's really very simple and it's a nice bit of kit. You've got a little bit of adjustment here so you can angle your light to how you want it to be. And as I mentioned before, you'll see there is a backlight just there. So overall, it's a really, really simple product, but it, it's really nice. And especially if you've just got sort of one screen and you're sitting working on it quite a lot and you've got a dark environment, this is a great way to light your keyboard up to uh, ensure that you don't get eye strain and you can get a nice glow from behind the monitor. Just makes it look nice as well. Big thanks to BenQ for sending me this to have a play with. I really like it. I definitely recommend it. If you do want to pick one up, check the description. I'll stick a link in there where you can go to grab one of these. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. And remember, hitting the little bell will notify you when I put up new videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay, cheers. Bye for now.